Hey everybody, um, it's cooking again. <laughs> well, it's me, Aries Double Eighty Three. Um, I'm almost done with my guide to collecting. I think I only have one video to go. So I was thinking about doing video rants, but I remembered, hey, I already started a brand or something, if you want to call it that, my talking toys thing. So I guess I'll call these talking toys mini, <laughs> instead of calling it rant or whatever, just talking toys. I'm thinking I, I can also take the show um, and live stream it and have other people talk about toys too with me and uh, maybe have a guest host or whatever. Um, now, I'd like to, well, I think I already mentioned it, but now that I have a new place, maybe that's in, in the plan. But for this video, this Talking Toys video, I want to focus on IDW Comics. I'm not a big comic guy anymore. Um, when I was a kid, I had seen some Transformers comics. I think the last one I remember is issue nine with Circuit Breaker. It was kind of cute. <laughs> but And also nude, almost nude. So... The comics came back with Dreamwave and with Pat Transman Lee, who is a, a tremendous a-hole, <laughs> I guess, of Guardians of the Galaxy. I could use it, I can. But um, if for the full story, you should check uh, TF Wiki's article on Pat Lee. He invented Doe Surprise. After Dreamwave had the... Um, the Transformers license, it went to IDW. They're the guys who have it now, currently. And um, they rebooted, I guess, the franchise. And uh, it's it looks pretty good. The comics, I've been getting um, interested in them by looking at the comics that have been coming with the toys. Which is a good marketing move, you know, to get people into reading the comics. Sadly, most of these involve a, a plot, um, a storyline called Dark Cybertron, which involves um, Shockwave. But the one comic that got me back into this was the Trailbreaker comic. It's the Spotlight Trailbreaker comic. So it's the one that comes with Trail Bait Breaker, a.k.a. Trail Cutter. They explain why he changes his name in the comic. And it was pretty funny. The art was a little weird, but I got used to it. Like, this art, I don't like. This uh, Skywarp, I think it's... I don't know who does it. I want to say Clayton Crane. It might be an exclusive cover, but I don't think it's him. Doesn't look like his artwork. But the art that I like is um, this kind of art. They decided to go with a clean look. And uh, this is a reprint that I got. Even though it's supposed to be a dollar, I paid a dollar fifty at Midtown Comics. So it's I like this look better. Uh, with, without scratchy lines. I think at one point in comic books, everything had to involve pant lines. I think it was with Jim Lee. <laughs> but now that it's gone back to like clean cut um, art, it looks kind of animated. I think the main guy who does art like this is uh, Alex Meline or Maline. I think it's Maline. And uh, there's another artist called Nick Roche who um, who designs a lot of these, uh, or who's an artist for some of these comics. There are more, but um, I think uh, there's one artist that people don't like. His name is uh, James Raiz, R-A-I-Z. People say it like Ray is, but it's um, in Spanish, it would be pronounced raíz, like a root. It's a Spanish word. He's Filipino. Filipinos speak Spanish, too. <laughs> so I, I would recommend at least trying that trail cutter 
book or getting your hands on any of the Dawn of the Autobots comics that are coming out now. If Or if you want, you could give these little guys a try. You may not have a comic book store close, but if you have a Target, you could pick these up. You got the uh, Micro Comic Fun Packs. Um, there's only four. I got two so far. I got Optimus and Drift. I'm going to pick up Bumblebee and Grimlock. But the bad thing is that Optimus is a reprint of the comic that came with Orion Pax. And Drift is a comic that was um, Spotlight Drift. It was re-released uh, like a week or two ago. But if you haven't read it, you can always pick it up. Inside... Just give me a minute. Oh, here's my receipt. I don't know why I have a receipt. <laughs> so, the comic has a, a nice cover with glossiness. See, na 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 na. It comes with a little <laughs> checklist. You get these micro poster checklists. And, um,. Each comic comes with a tattoo and a sticker. So here's the the poster, the micro poster, which is Optimus Prime. Art by Casey Collar. It's pretty good. I've never heard of him, of the artist, but Art's decent. I mean, it's good. <laughs> so here's the poster checklist. I don't know if you guys saw the tattoos. I gotta get to Eaton. The Optimus Prime art is pretty good. It's uh, from the cover of the Dawn of the Auto Autobots um, comic. Then you got Bumblebee, Drift, and Grimlock. Then you got the posters. These are all covers. Um, these stickers, these are covers for books. I know this is real. This art is recent. The Optimus Prime one. It's from when it did on the Autobots books. So here you have the the tattoo which I'm going to put on my fat arm and the sticker, which I'll probably put on one of my plastic bins with toys in it. Um, if you already have the um, Orion Pax toy, you have this comic. But the art styles, um, some of them are better than others. But like I said, I like Malin's art the best. Um, I won't put down any other artists because they, if they're working for IDW, that means they're good enough. All right, that's it for this. Um, Aries 83, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Coming up soon. Um, <laughs> uh, coming up soon, San Diego Comic Con. So we'll probably have a talking toys about that. See ya. Bye.